You have a superpower. It's called hope. Hope and daily planning allow you to use every minute to create your reality. Nothing has to stay the way that it is right now. You can't completely shield yourself or your family from the negativity of the outside world. But you can plan your time to create a life full of joy. You can write your own story. Hi guys. Hi guys. For those of you who don't know us, I'm Heidi. I'm Emery. And I'm the mom. And I'm the daughter. And we both blog and vlog together. And we love it. And we love it. And our blog is doorsintime.com. And our vlog, as you probably can see, depending on where you are, looking at this video is also Doors in Time on YouTube. We do a family vlog with kind of a different twist because um, the, the theme behind our family vlog and actually our blog is that you have the ability to create your own reality with hope, so with hope, and also by planning. So you need, by using some sort of planner, we like Happy Planner, mm -hmm. um, but whatever planner that you would choose to use or even your notebook if you just want to write it. Your phone. Or your phone. Anything that you have I would go crazy if I had to use a phone. I want something pretty that I can carry around and see everything at the same time. But if you like your phone, it's fine. Yeah, but if you like your phone, that that's that's We're all good. Not judging you. No. So what is reality? Norman Rockwell, one of my favorite artists. Um, I can remember when I was a little girl getting a little Norman Rockwell ornament for the Christmas tree. Yeah. So his. He was one of the very few artists that was actually ever famous while he was still alive. Most, of them, have, him. most of them have to die first. <laughs> they don't make, ever make a living out of it, but he did. But Norman Rockwell had some serious critics while he was alive. And what they said was that his, painting, his paintings excuse me, tricked people into believing they were happy when they really weren't. So think about that for a second. Tricked you into believing you were happy when you really weren't. We have a power with pencil or any kind of other writing utility, a pen, writing utensil, a pen, and a planner to, like Norman Rockwell, paint the reality that we want to see. Even if you can't draw a stick figure, you can do this. Yes, you can. You can see that we're using happy planners. We'll, we'll flip ours around. But did the new just drop? Yeah, that's my pencil. I'll pick it up. Okay. So I've got the eight and a half by 11 size, which is the big planner, and then um, Emery has the traditional normal, the normal, the normal original size planner. Um, I'm right brained. I have no sense of time. I call my planner my left side of my brain. And uh, I use the happy planner planner and then I also use the teacher's edition of their planner. I have them together in one planner. Um, there's another YouTuber. Her um, channel is Beans and Monkeys and um, it's hysterical, <laughs> the name of it. But um, what she, she actually does the same thing and she named her uh, planner the Franken Planner, <laughs> which I think is hysterical. You should check out her channel. In fact, we'll, we'll put a link up here. But even if you're not a vlogger, just the concept of, um, of creating your own reality, creating how your day is going to feel, because you can't always create what happens in it because we're gonna talk about that in a minute. Don't eat all the ice cream. Things happen. Your dad eats all the ice cream while you're filming and you can't do a darn thing about and it. And it's so rude. <laughs> so, um, what we have done is created, and we did this off camera, um, but we created a list of what type of reality that we wanted to create in our family um, six days of this next week. And um, for instance, we have, okay, so Emery said one reality that she has to face is there's no such thing as a day with enough hours in it. So true. And so I, I'm thinking there's got to be a way to just for one day this next week make it so that Emery feels like there are enough hours in her day. And so on Friday, we are going to 
plan a day that has enough hours in it for Emery. And we're gonna do some special things. We're going to her favorite store. It's gonna be kind of like an Emery day. And we're gonna be crafting um, from um, Mommy Crafts A Lot, her YouTube channel. Which is amazing. Yeah. And we, she's amazing. She's the bow queen. And um, my my youngest daughter it just um, started cheerleading. And so we're gonna use- Make some bows We're gonna make her. some bows for her on Friday. We're gonna go to Ulta and um, do some shopping. And then we're gonna buy one thing and try something new. At least two things that- New, at least two things at new. Least two Apparently, things. in order for Emery to feel like she has enough time on Friday, she has to have two new things to try. Not one, two. I've been eyeing them, okay? Okay, and it will somehow feel like the day is lengthened when she has them, I right? really well, though. Okay, so, so that's what we're going to do for Friday is that we're going to create a day with enough hours in it. Um, on Saturday, we, we have started this tradition since we started the vlog that um, we create a reality where family time is as fun as friend time. And we've actually been really good about that. Yeah. On uh, Saturday we do extra filming, we do extra challenges and extra games and it's um, really, it's a yummy, fun day. Yummy, yummy food. Yummy, yummy food. <laughs> Saturday we're gonna be doing water balloons. We bought this water balloon gadget to try. Um, Wednesday we're creating the reality that we're not in a hurry all day. Cause I know, especially with one of my children, if we're in a hurry, it like ruins his day. Yeah, <laughs> and then the other child wants to be in a hurry. <laughs> So it's, it's clashing. And so, um, and sometimes like, when you get in that hurry mode, it really does ruin your day. And it just stretches you out and you just want the day to be over. And so, um, and we're just going to be really conscious about that on Wednesday, um, about planning in a way and just really being conscious about I'm not in a hurry all day today. And so, Monday, we have an orthodontist appointment. We've got to get school done before that. Emory, what are we gonna do to create the perfect start to the week? Because that's what um, we've got written down for the reality that we wanna create on Monday. And I think that's really important that you start the week off right because it just seems like when Monday is horrible, the rest of the week is not fun until, until you like reach Friday night. Right, and then it is just kinda of like you need to start all over again the next Monday. And so, um, you know, psychologically speaking, I just want to focus on um, how can we make Monday perfect. Monday fun day. Yeah, no matter what happens in the rest of the world. Okay, so what, how can we do that? And what do we need to plan on Monday? Besides doing special treats, do we need to... Um, do a really yummy like crock, crock pot breakfast. <gasps> we can do a special breakfast. That's a good idea. And you want to do crock pot breakfast? Well, that way we wouldn't have to really stress out about it getting done in the morning we can put it on the night before okay so let's go ahead and write that down crock pot breakfast for monday um uh, it would be prepping it sunday this the sunday night but. yeah okay so we have crock pot breakfast that's a sweet way to start the morning okay so we'll do something special instead of every man for himself with the cereal bowl Seriously. or the smoothie um another thing that we're doing is that we try to combine personal goals with the things that we're doing on the vlog. So one thing that um, <clears throat> I have a goal of doing is to become more self-sufficient, start cooking more whole foods. Um, we don't eat that much meat unless we don't plan ahead for dinner. And that's about the only time we eat meat. But or right, like the same people. Yeah, so there, there's a website that's I Dare You To Eat It, I think, or I Dare You To Eat This, but I, I have it bookmarked and um, it's, like these vegetarian meals where they use wheat um, as a meat replacement. And I think I'm gonna start taking those dares as part of the vlog and also as part of reach, helping us reach goals. And Emory has the same goals, this, this works out well. Mm -hmm. And um, what else? So basically, the vlog for me was like this vehicle that kind of forced me to do those things that I'm just gonna do someday, someday I'm gonna do this, someday I'm gonna do that. Well, all of those, oh, I'm waking up the baby, I'm in big trouble now. All of those someday things are things that work out great for the vlog, and so mm -hmm. I'm becoming the person I was gonna be someday. 
and uh um we're doing things that we wouldn't normally do right i was never i would never have done challenges before i was not that fun of a mom i was fun in different ways but not in that way they go places we normally wouldn't go it's just it's fun it is fun it's creating really sweet memories every single day and that's kind of been our overall theme, theme. Yeah, and because it's kind of what you have to do to be successful vlogging. At least that's what I think you have to do, and that's what I. That's who we watch. Right? The yeah. special people that we watch, they do something every new. Every single day. All the time. And so, um, following that pattern, we've um, tried to do the same thing for you. And so, but by doing that, it's helping our family be closer. It's helping us to um, have more excitement in our lives. And... Um, that's that's basically how you make it work we both kind of have our roles um emory and i because we're in this together yes we both kind of have our roles and things that we do for both the blog and the vlog um and social media and social media and so emory what's your big one that you're doing right now on instagram i'm doing a different hairstyle every single day this this is day 18 or 17 or something like that um so what i have to do so i'm not stressing out every single day because i would if i didn't do this was go through at least a week beforehand but sometimes i plan out like even a whole month um a different hairstyle to do every day and it doesn't always work out like the other day i had to do like five or six different hairstyles before one turned out it was awesome um but I have a little spot, a little square that's just dedicated to a hairstyle for each day. And I just go through YouTube and pick out which ones I like. But I will take suggestions. So should you, if you Luda, if you have something you want me to do, put it in the comments below and I'll try my best. So my goal, and I actually wrote this down. I have, I'm going to pull it out for you. You can see it's right here. It says vlog in cute little letters. I don't know if I can put it up close enough for you guys to see or not. Vlog! And it says Monday filming. And I can have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But it says, make the camera a reflection of who the kids really are. Give them an opportunity to shine on film. And so, um, Emery and I are going to go through and think of ways that we can do that. In fact, I'll do it in front of you. Emery. Yes. What are some ways that we can let the kids see themselves for who they really are and in a really positive light? You know what I'd like to do is like try to plan something that lets them see how smart they are. Okay. Um, so maybe something that kind of is really good at puzzles. Like. Or uses creativity or like try to figure out something maybe. Okay, well, we'll think about that. Okay. So on... Um, Wednesday, oh, what, on Tuesday, Jace gets to have his own day. Now, it seems like life is all about Makaili and cheerleading right now. Yes. And so, I'm trying to balance that out for Jace. And on Tuesday, Jace, we're doing things to make Jace feel like an only child. <laughs> That's what he said. And literally, mom's like, what would, what can we do to make your day feel so special? Like, the most special it's ever been. He's like... I want to pretend like everyone else has already moved out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, there was a, for whatever reason, there was a Monday night um, in the last year where- I think Evelyn and I were at FAG. Where everyone was gone. Kylie was camping or something. I, it was just Jace and my husband and I. And so we let him pick a restaurant to go to and a movie to watch. And he was just in seventh heaven. And he hasn't forgotten that, you know, being the only child, what that was like. And so he's like, he wants to do one another those times. And so we're gonna do a mom son date together. And Jason and I are gonna do some special things as if everyone else had already moved out. Um, Kylie has her special day. Kylie has a special day every Thursday and Saturday. And, and Saturday and then sometimes like Wednesdays and Tuesdays. And for Fridays. the next three months. So, um, not too worried about that. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it'd be awesome if you guys could give this video a thumbs up. Yes. 
Um, comment down below on what if you have planner you like, or if you want to start using a planner, or whatever the hairstyle that you want me to do, something like that. Um, and subscribe. It is a hundred percent free. It helps us out so much. We are trying to get to 100 subscribers, and then we're going to do something really awesome. Uh, we're all going to get pied in the face live. Yes, it'll be it'll be great. We'll, we'll and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we're we're excited. Um, I can't think of anything else. Because there's nothing like having whipped cream go up your nose. Yes. No, no, we are we are all like, favorite really pastime. Exactly. <laughs> um, love you guys so much, and we'll see you in our, see you in our next video. Bye.